What's up? Um, my name is Hope. And I'm I'm like six years old. Yeah, my boy six years old. Show him your mouth. Show him, show him, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Hit the house on him. Hit the house on him. Hit the house. Hold on, my letter. Hit the house. Hit the house. How you did it? <laughs> What's up? Um, my name is Hope. And I'm I'm like six years old. Yeah, my boy six years old. Show him your mouth. Show him, show him, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Hit the house. 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 Hit the and as you see in this video, you have this young Jake. He's on the football field, and he's six years old. All right, he's six years old, and he's strong as hell, man. <laughs> okay, for a six-year-old, he's strong as hell. You know, Jake be, you know, ripped. And we was going, you know, what inspired me to do this video, too, is because we was going into this the other day at camp, is how these young Jakes, man, they be having six-packs and biceps and everything else, you know, at a very young age when you got Edomites, you know, you know that can't even touch grass, man, you know, you know, point dexter as Edomites, but Jake is a stronger and this, and this is scriptural okay this is scripture that we're going to be the greater people okay we are better than them okay we're just better all right we're not equal we are better all right and in these end times it's going to be made clear who the, who the true people of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai is all right so let's go to the beginning this is Genesis chapter 25 verse 22 it says um and the children struggled together within her, and she said, If it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of Yahweh by Shem Shai, because Rebekah was pregnant with twins, which was Esau and Jacob, and they were struggling in her womb. They were fighting in her womb, and she was wondering why. All right, now we are Jacob and the so-called white race is Esau, which when we was in that womb, Esau was getting his ass handed to him. It says, And the Lord said, Yahweh said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb. Two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. And that's why Esau, you know, they cleave to those guns. But Jake is more about brute strength, you know, because we are stronger than them. OK, it says two nations are in thy womb and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. I mean, we are not the same people. OK, we're different. All right. And we, we, we are we are really mortal enemies and never were meant to get along. We were we, we were fighting in the womb. All right. This is how you get the black so-called black and white race. It says, um, it says, and the one people shall be stronger than the other people and the elder shall serve the younger, which we were the younger because Esau came out first and he came out first because what, uh, he was getting his ass beat up in that womb, man. You know, Jake, Jake was giving us Esau. So as soon as he saw a chance to get the hell out of there, he ran. So he was the first one to come out, but he's going to serve the younger. They're, they're going to be our slaves and we're stronger than them. Okay. So it says one people shall be stronger than the other. And that's us. We, we're that one people that are stronger. All right. No matter what, Jake take over everything, whether, whether it be sports, you know, dance and music, whatever you you name it. We, we, we are the best at it. All right. We are not the same people. All right. Um, let me go here. This is uh, second Ezra chapter six, verse seven. Then answer I and said, what shall be the parting asunder of the times? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, From I, Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. So when Jacob and Esau were born, Jacob had a strong grip on Esau's hill, which is, you know, unheard of. You got twins coming out, and for when you're grabbing one out, the other one is holding on the hill of the other one. You know, showing you that Esau was trying to run, and Jacob was, you know, Get, get, giving it to Esau and in, in the womb. How much more in these end times when you know Jake rises up and you got a, you, you saw a picture, an example of that with that whole uh, Alabama brawl. You know, Esau bucked up, started swinging on Jake, and then you know the whole fucking neighborhood came out again against their ass, man. They 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 was double black eyed, you know, bloody nose, <laughs> teeth missing, getting slammed in the head with with chairs, you know. It says, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So, so Esau, the so-called white race, hey, this is, they are right now, they're in power, and the world is ending. 
as we know it, which is going to bring in a new rulership and a new uh, kingdom where we're going to be in power for eternity, man. All right. We're going to be power in power for eternity. This is Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto Yahweh thy power. Yahweh thy power have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Special. You know, and this Jake is fucking ripped like a grown man. He he got more muscle than ha half of these full grown e these full grown Edomite men. You see, Jacob, you know, put the paws on somebody with the right train, you know, with the right training. And they showed you that in the movie um, Get Out. He said, with your body and genetic makeup, you could be a beast, man. You know, that's what the Edomite told told the Jake the Jake in the movie Get Out. He says, with with your body and genetic makeup, we have a better genetic makeup. Okay, our genetic makeup is much stronger than their genetic makeup. It's, he says you could be a beast, man. All right, so if Jake just put a little time in the training, that tra tra training their bodies, hey man, it, it, it's it's much easier for us to conquer. You know, look at all these sports they they, they done got taken over, which was a time where Jake couldn't even participate in these sports, but now it's been taken over by Jake and, and you know entirely, man. All right, your average Edomite can't go play these sports. This is why they be in the um. You know, in the in the in the offices, you know, at, at the desk, go, they go in the stocks and shit. You know, somewhere they can hide in the suit. You know, because because when it comes to you know, um, strength, that they, they, they are they are not on the same level. It says, "Thy power, Yahweh, thy power, have chosen me to be a special people unto Himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth." So we are better than all these people upon the face of the earth, man. Okay, we we are better. And it's gonna cost, and and and, and, we, and we were told that they were better than us, that um, you know that that we're inferior to, to to them, when really it's the other way around, okay? It's the other way around. That's just, and that's why Esau's blessing is the gun, and he hold fast to that gun, but in the end it's not gonna save him. Jeremiah chapter fifty one verse six verse nineteen, it says the portion of Jacob is not like them. We ain't like these other nations, man. Okay, we are better than them. Hey, in in uh, Jake. You know, as a jick, you can't, <laughs> as a jick, you can't, uh, you know, shop in these Chinese, uh, you know, stores, man. You know, you know, these Chinese, um, places because those Chinese people, they have a different built body than we do, man. They, they, they have body of children, you know. So if you try to find your size in the, you know, on, on these online stores from, uh, from China or whatever, your shit gonna come back, you know, five sizes too small because over there in China, the average individual is puny compared to to your average chick. All right. Hey, even my my, my uh, son. I'm, you know, I, I have a son and I'm watching him grow, and it's a blessing, to, you know, through the spirit of how about him all shy. But Jake's strong as hell, man. And even when he came out, people was always saying how he was strong. And the doctors, wow, he's strong. Wow, he's he's doing this, he's doing that. He, that's way too early for his age, you know. But um, he do this thing now where you know we take him out of his playpen. And this man will, you know, get up, walk over to the playpen, you know, will, 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 you know, crawl or whatever. He's starting to walk now, but he'll hold on to the side. Well, first thing when he in the playpen, he's running and laps inside the playpen. He's just running, holding on to, to, to the rim of the playpen, running laps. I'm like, God damn, Jet, what the hell? You know, but also um, what he would do now is now we take him outside the playpen and he'll come outside the playpen. And he'll hold on to the side of the playpen and he'll move it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth all over the room. You know, he's pushing the playpen and then pulling it back. You know, he'll grab my leg and pull it back towards me and then push it back the other way. I'm like, what the fuck? You know, but that's Jake, bro. That's Jake. Okay, natural born athletes. All right. It says the portion of Jacob is not like this. This is why Esau is trying to destroy us. You know, this is why he's putting all type of chemicals in your food. If you try our best to make sure he don't get, you know, that he get less chemicals as possible. You know, my, 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 my son don't drink no fucking formula milk or none of that crazy shit man he was breastfed fed you know from the day he was born you know he um and now he's starting to eat food but we, we, we give him you know you know organic fruits and vegetables you know and esau is you know attacking you know young israelite boys uh, and women and girls too but but, but his, his main target is, is the boys it says the portion of jacob is not like them for he is the former of all things, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord is only concerned with Israel. It says, Yahweh of hosts is his name. Right. And, and our sons carry on our, our names. You know, you can imagine this Jake's father, you know, what his, what, 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 what his father looked like. It says, um, 
Thou art my battle axe and weapon of and weapons of war. So we're going to be the Lord's battle axe and weapons of war. You know, to to bring the armor, the, the, the hammer down upon these heathens. Okay, that 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 is a part of you know that blessing. The Lord said He's going to use us. He says, For with thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms. If we already, you know, got God got all this power now. Scripture says a, a, a poor man is honored in his skill. But a rich man is honored and, 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 and is richest. So if a poor man has already been honored as a poor man, how much more when, when we get that power, when we get, to get them riches? It says, um, and with thee will I break in pieces the horse and his rider, and with thee will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider. So anybody that come up against us, Esau come up with, 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 with his machines and whatnot, his tanks and his helicopters and whatnot. We're going to break that shit into pieces. We're going to bash you into powder. Okay, wait till that power kick in. But it's just a small example, man, of, you know, the power that Yahweh Bashan Ashai has already bestowed upon his, you know, his chosen, man, you know, his people. All right. So we're we, we, we going to see, man. You know, we're going to see. Anyway, that's the point. With that being said, I'm going to say Shalom. I'm coming. Shalom. Ababa. Praise the Lord. The edifies of hope for the Lord. Shalom.